Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Stitches Biz Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. In this video, let me share with you how to make a designed, beautiful, handmade bidet bag. Before we start, do all well to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line. You make sure it's long enough. You cut it off and we are using 0.60 mm. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line. You pick four beads, fix on any side of the fish line, fix all four beads. And then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out so one side will be longer than the other. And they have a first ring done. Going on, you still pick three beads, fix one on each fish line, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line, and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You still make sure you have the ends of the fish line, and then you pull it out, and then you have a second ring done. And then you still pick three beads. Fix one on each fish line, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You pull it out and then you have your third ring done. So I'm going to continue weaving with the same method until you get 12 rings. So we have 11 now and then on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out and you have a fish line turned for you to weave the other end and this adds up to 12. then on this fish line you still fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line and then you pull it out so you turn completely so you can weave to the other end then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line, you cross with the second bead using the right fish line and then you pull it out with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. You still go on and pick two beads, fix on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out and then you weave on with the same method so you get to the last but one bead. So when you get to the last end with this fish line, you go through the next bead and then on this fish line, you fix two beads, you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out and then with this fish line, you fix three beads again, you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out and then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Then you fix two beads, cross with the second bead and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead, fix two beads on the left fish line again, cross with the second bead. So with the same method I'm going to weave till you get to the last bead here with the same method. So this is what you should get after you are done and we are going to continue weaving till we get about um, 21 lines in all. So this is what you get and then you are going to fold the sides of each side and then you weave the base of the bag. So with the new fish line you count 1, 2, 3 then you go through the third and fourth bead. With your new fish line, you go through your, the third and fourth bead, and then you pull it out. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line. And then on this fish line, you fix two beads. And then you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line. Please make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Then you pick two beads again, fix on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. Then you pull it out. 
then with the right fish line you go through the next bead again you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the right fish line and then you weave on with the same method 14 times So with the 15th part, with this fish line, you go through the next two beads and then you fix one bead, you cross with both sides of the fish line. So you have the curved part, then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead, you fix two beads on the left fish line again, you cross with the right fish line, pull it out, then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. You fix two beads on the left fish line again, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. Then you go through the next bead. So you are going to continue weaving with the same method to the end and then you weave for the last part as well. So this is what you should get after you are done and we are going to pass the excess fish line through to make the work neat. So this is the base of the bag. We are done with the base of the bag now. So we are going to weave the handle. So with the new fish line, you make sure you fold from the base of the bag so you get the straight line. As you can see, you get the straight line. Then you go through this bead with your new fish line. You pull it out. Then on this fish line, you fix three beads, cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line as i always say you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line you cross with the second bead using the right fish line pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads again and then you cross with the second bead using the right fish line and then you weave on with the same method. So when you get to this side with the right fish line you go through this bead here go through this bead because you are following the straight line and then you weave on with the same method so this is what you should get if you're on the right track as you can see we have another side forming up so i'm going to continue weaving so when you get to the top side, please follow the straight lines, and then you get it correct. So this is what you should get after you are done. And we have all the three sides form up. When you get to the last end on this fish line, you fix two beads. Then with the same fish line, you go through this bead, this bead, then you pull it out now you pass the right fish line through to this bead here then you pass the left fish line through to the other bead as well so you get it this way and then on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line so i'm going to weave another one inside of the first one we made then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line then you go through the next bead and then you fix two beads again cross with the second bead you pull it out so my fish line is short so i have to pass it through then after you are done with a new fish line you just go through these two beads here with a new fish line go through these two beads and then you have it this way then you can weave on with the same method you can continue weaving with the same method so when you get to this side you go through this bead here and then you weave on then you go through this bead again and then you weave on you weave on with the same method 
so this is what you should get as you can see we have a second one forming inside of the first one we made and yeah, i'm going to continue weaving till you get to the other end as well so you get two lines forming up so you end on the other side and this is what you should get after you are done so we have two lines and that's what we are going to develop our handle for we are not done yet so on this fish line you fix two beads and then you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line then you pull it out then on this fish line you fix one bead then with that same fish line you go through the first bead on the other side this bead here you go through then you pull it out and then you pick one bead then you cross with both sides of the fish line you cross with both fish line make sure you pull it so tight then with the right fish line go through the next bead with the left fish line go through the next bead and then you pick one bead again and then you cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out with the right fish line go through the next bead with the left fish line go through the next bead go on and pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line and that's what we are doing for this round so you continue weaving so when you get to this side make sure you go through the next two beads here and then you cross both sides with one bead and then you weave on so as you can see we have the two sides joined up and then you are going to continue with until you get to the last end here and this is what you should get so this is where we are going to develop our handle from so you found the right track this is what you should have so on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line and then you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead here and then you fix two beads on the left fish line again you cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and make sure it's firm then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line again you cross with the second bead using the right fish line pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads here then you pick one bead you cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out and make sure it's firm then on this fish line and then you fix the beads again on the left fish line then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line again you cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead you fix two beads on the left fish line again cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads here and then you fix one bead you cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out and make sure it's firm then you continue weaving with the same method So this is what we are doing for the handle so as you weave on you get it longer so i'm going to weave about 25 in all so i have to do 24 first so you weave 24 in all or the length you want that you can join to the other end 
so i have 24 now and that is the length i want feel free to add more if you are not okay with the length so with the 25th part i'm going to join it to the other side so on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line you go through this bead here you pull it out then you have the beads in the middle of both sides as you can see you should have it in the middle and then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line please make sure you pull it out very well for it to be firm or tight then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead and then you fix one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out please make sure it's very firm then with the right fish line go through the next bead with the left fish line go through the next bead then you fix one bead again cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads with the left fish line go through the next two beads so all the beads should come out from this side as you can see this is where you should get so you pass your excess fish line through please make sure you take your time and pass it through all the way to the other side to make the handle firm so this is what you should get after you are done and as you can see we have the side of um, the bag and our handle also attached to the bag nicely so i made the same thing offline the same size the same length offline i'm going to join them together but before that we need to attach our magnetic flip or lock first or button first depending on how you call it in your country so you attach it in the middle and i have a video of how to attach it so i'm going to drop that below so you can watch and follow up and get a process of how to attach it okay so in the middle where we are going to attach it we have 13 in all and i'm going to divide the 13 into two so leaving one in the middle and without one in the middle that is where i'm going to attach your magnetic lock or button on so as you can see i have my magnetic lock nicely attached to my beaded bag and it's right in the middle so i'm going to join the sides together now so with the new fish line you go through this bead here you pull it out then on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag you go through it you pull it out as well so you have the beads in the middle then you pick one bead and cross with both sides of the fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line as i always say pull it out then with the right fish line go through the next bead with the left fish line go through the next bead you still go on and pick one bead and cross with both sides of the fish line pull it out and make sure it's very firm with them with the right fish line go through the next bead again with the left fish line go through the next bead again still go on and pick one bead cross with both sides of the fish line and then you go on and weave on with the same method So as you can see, we have the sides joining up nicely. So I'm going to continue with it until you get to this end here. And this is what you should have after you are done joining the sides of the bag and you have your bag forming up nicely. So I'm going to pass our SS fish line shoe to secure the work. So this is what you should get after you are done passing the fish line through and you have the bag nicely made. So I'm going to pinch the sides of the bag to give the bag a little shape. With a new fish line, you skip this bead here, this bead, and then you go through the next one here. Please watch carefully the bead I'm going through, then you pull it out, then on this fish line, you fix one bead then with the same fish line you go through the next bead on the other side as well you skip the first bead and go through the next one you pull it out then you have the beads in the middle then you pick one bead again 
and then you cross with both sides of the fish line this is what we are doing for this side so you pass your excess fish line through to secure it up and this is what you should get after you are done as you can see we have the shape now so i'm going to repeat the same thing you did for this side to the other side and this is what you should get after you are done and as you can see you have the shape nicely formed in your bag so you can just lock your bag and you are good to go you can use it this way it's very fine and nice or if you're a fan of the shoulder bags on this side of the bag you can just fix your bag chains on that side so any type of chain you have you can use that and this is what it looks like after you are done fixing your chain on the bag so you can use it with or without the chain anyone that is nice for you anyone that fits your outfit you can just get it on and you are good to go do well to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well thank you see you in my next video have a nice day and bye